Good morning. 3.30 in the morning. Sometimes you gotta love the job. Oh. Anyway, let's go watch the sunrise. Bruh. Well, hello, I am Steve Slift. Thank you for stumbling across my channel. Thank you for coming back and hello to everybody. If you would take a moment and like and subscribe, all that good stuff for me and continue to help me grow the channel. Thanks to everybody for reaching out and uh, it's nice communicating to you guys. Um, but um, yeah, keep them coming, keep the emails coming, keep the comments coming. Um, I appreciate and love interacting with you. Sorry for the delay, I was on much home time, much needed home time, I was out for two months. Uh, went home for about 10 days and uh, packed in a bunch in those 10 days. So we'll talk about it here in a little bit. But uh, I am currently in Tennessee and uh, I am heading back to Fort Worth, Texas. I left home, went to uh, Brownsville, Texas, picked up uh, a load and headed to Murfreesboro, uh, Tennessee uh, dropped off there and uh, two minutes down the road I was able to pick up a load and uh, we're gonna head out so anyway it's been uh, a couple early mornings and it has been uh, a little bit to get back into the swing of things when you're home for 10 days <laughs> you don't want to leave your family um, but you're also excited to get back on the road but you get back and you have to get acclimated back into everything so uh, it's a little bit of adjustment each time you come back, uh, to be honest with you, get back in the routine and, and get to doing some stuff. So anyway, uh, just an update on the lease. Uh, you know, I uh, I will do a settlement here, uh, review when I do a couple more settlements because we did have those two weeks that were free and then I was on home time. So, uh, you know, luckily uh, when I went home, I planned it to where uh, when I went home, I took enough on that trip that my settlement paid for my uh, truck sorry brain fart there and uh, all my you know expenses paid for all my expenses and then I was home for 10 days didn't have to stress about that didn't have to worry about that so keep that in mind you want to plan those trips right and uh, the only thing I had to do was uh, uh, 
you know, I only got paid like 200 bucks after all the expenses. So uh, short runs, but uh, you know, I was able to pay myself out of my company because um, I, you know, I put money away for when I come home. And then uh, leaving, I was able to get enough uh, miles in to once again pay for the truck, get a little, a little bit of money, and I didn't have to dip into the, the company too much. So, so I'd like it to be a little bit better, but again, this is a, this is a long plan. Um, you know, I'm not going to base how everything's going to go off of just four weeks of being out uh, on a lease program. So we're going to have to analyze a little bit more, learn a little bit more, adjust where we need to adjust and uh, figure this out. So anyway, home time. I was uh, home for my daughter's graduation and uh, did a bunch of fun things at home and uh, yeah, just check this out. Got the new pit boss going. Oh, look at that. Oh, yeah. Playing a little cornhole. Chilling out. Going back on the road tomorrow. So yeah, we always try to do fun stuff when we're at home. Uh, you know, outside of just doing the fun stuff, I had dentist appointments for the kids I had to take them to. Uh, I personally went and took my hazmat test uh, and passed. Yay, 100%. And uh, I got my tanker endorsement. Uh, only missed one on that one. And uh, got that. And then the following day, I did go to iDent and I did all my fingerprints for the hazmat. And I also got my Twic card in Texas. So, um, you know, it's just uh, a CDL. is just something you want to add to. Uh, you know, uh, I'm doing it personally for long-term plans, which we'll discuss uh, in the future. But, uh, you know, it's uh, you just keep adding on to your CDL. Get everything you can for it because it opens a wide variety of options for you. Um, so that's uh, one thing that I wanted to get and knock out of the way and uh, just uh, happen to do it on this trip. So anyway, and it was quick. I already got my Twit card back. I mean, it was like even over a Memorial Day holiday, I got my Twit card back uh, about 10 days after uh, I got my fingerprint. So that's pretty pretty amazing. So now I'm just waiting on my driver's license uh, with my hazmat endorsement. So anyway, that's the kind of things we did at home outside of the honeydews and the chores. Um, but uh, yeah, always have a plan. Always rock on that plan and always achieve uh, to move towards your goals, as I always say. So anyway, um, I am excited to uh, be back on the road. Like I said, a little bit of an adjustment, but um, you know, it's it's a different mindset when you're in a lease, and it's not a worry. Uh, it's just a different mindset of a little bit of ownership, and you know, where you're purchasing fuel and learning what states to, you know, make sure you buy some fuel in some of the higher taxed states, uh, so maybe you could get some money back at the end of the quarter uh, because you overpaid in taxes, fuel taxes. So learning stuff like that and research and stuff like that is fun to me. Um, as well as, uh, you know, some playoff hockey's going on so I can watch hockey in the truck, um, you know, and not have to force my wife to watch it because, we, you know, we were watching some games at home. She's not a big hockey fan. <laughs> but she knows I am, so we're, uh, make her watch a couple of games, but I'm rooting. My Blues are out. I'm a St. Louis Blues fan. They've been out. They're playing golf at this present moment, uh, and I 
really like the uh, Florida Panthers. I'd like to see them win it. So I'm rooting for the Florida Panthers. My 13 year old son is rooting for Edmonton Oilers. Um, so it looks like that they might be matching up for the Stanley Cup. So that'll be fun to watch. Um, but I'm gonna be out for about five weeks. I will go home for 4th of July, my favorite holiday. Woohoo, I love to cook. Uh, as you saw there, I've got that new Pit Boss smoker uh, slash grill. Uh, man, I love it. I love it. I can't wait to get back and cook some more. So I'm going to try some ribs when I go back. Um, but uh, yeah, that thing is amazing. So if you've never used a wood pellet grill, check into it because I've been reading a lot about it and everybody's been raving about it. And I'm like, you know what? The heck with it. I'm going to go out. I've been using propane. And you know, when you're in Corpus, that thing's rusting out and it's getting so old. Uh, you know, you can't even change your temperature on it. It's just always high. <laughs> So, so it was time for daddy to buy a new present for himself. Um, but anyway, sidetrack there, nothing to do with trucking, just uh, manly stuff, yeah. Uh, but anyway, Pit Boss, uh, it's a little more affordable um, than some of those other wood pellet grills, but it, it, it's solid, it worked really good, no issues with it, and uh, we did some brats, and then I followed up with some hamburgers. Amazing, just amazing. I did a chop house smoke on it, and uh, man, I was impressed. I was impressed. So anyway, a um, lot of people uh, have been reaching out and wanted to, you know, get uh, some more requests in on uh, more, I guess, more of what I do in trucking. So, um, you know, we're going to try to work with a little more cameras. I'm trying to get up to a thousand subscribers so I can go out and buy that 360 camera. That would be awesome. So get everybody you know, get up to a thousand subscribers. Not that I get anything for it, it's just a goal. And uh, I told myself and my wife that I'm like, if I can get to a thousand subscribers, I'm buying that camera. I'm gonna buy that camera. So if you know how to create robots that you know can subscribe, or if you wanna you know create like 17 accounts and uh, you know everybody subscribe, that would be awesome. But um, <laughs> I'm just kidding. But anyway, um, so I did have this request. Hey, how do you do some fueling? So go ahead and watch this. some fuel here. I 
love doing things on the app. Makes it so much easier. New trailer one two two seven four five home. So you put everything in on the app and then you just put in this code eight nine six one six four and that's how we fuel. Well, I'm Mr. Birdie. Birdie. Birdie, Birdie. Hello, Mr. Birdie. I always clean my lights. Every stop. Windows okay, it's been raining. That's it. That's how simple it is.
eight minutes. I'm getting slow. What we're going to do is I'm going to pull up here, go inside, take a look around, go to the bathroom, and then I think we're going to park for the day. So we'll go off duty. And we'll go check out inside. But I won't take you into the restroom with me. That would be just kind of scary. So I'll see you in a little bit. Find a place to park. And I like to call this the special people row. So everybody pays to park up close. That app is really awesome. In fact, some of the young folks in the lease class showed me how to do that. Um, I mean, I use the app for the showers and the parking and all that stuff, and I use a bunch of apps for everything else. Um, but I actually did not know that I could put my fleet card on there because um, I thought, you know, it was a company card that I wouldn't be able to allow that. But now you put your fleet card on there and you just do everything on your app, and all you do is get out and put that code in, and you don't have to be out there in a freezing rain trying to put your card in and then put your miles in and put your truck number in and put your trailer in, you have to do all that. And sometimes those keypads freeze up in the winter time. It's a pain in the butt. And uh, so that is such a simple process. You just get out, remember that six digit code, put it in and fuel away. Love it. So um, yeah, always make it the most convenient for you and the most easy for you. Um, but that time, you know, I just filled up the fuel. 
uh, didn't have to do uh, def, didn't have to do my uh, reefer. Uh, if you know I had to do that, it, when you're done with one, it switches to another, and you just uh, you know you do it, your fuel first, then you do your def, hang up your hoses, pull your truck forward, fill up your reefer. It all figures out what you're doing um, and tells you when to do it. So pretty, uh, pretty cool, pretty simple system. Um, you know, it's your receipts are on the app, so I don't need to go in and print receipts. Uh, they can get emailed to you however you want to do it. It makes it really convenient when it comes down to, um, you know, putting my settlements in. If I bought reefer since I get it reimbursed, all I do is get on my iPad and I put the PO number on there and the trip number, save it, and then uh, send it off with my settlement. So super easy, super simple. But, uh, you know, for the request on how I fuel, I know some of you are probably like, yeah, that's pretty boring, you know, but some of these folks are excited. They want to know and get it. And I kind of forget that sometimes. So I'm going to try to do a little bit more on what I do daily instead of just talking all the time because, you know, I like to talk. So, uh, but anyway, um, so yeah, I will check in with you shortly as we head over to Fort Worth. But for now, I think I'm going to make some dinner.